What is the easiest huge pet you can get in PetSim 99? That is a question I wanted to answer in this video. Going from hatching them to fishing for them all the way to doing the chest rush. Out of every single method in the game, which one is the best for getting huges? Currently in the game, there is about 13 huge pets that you can obtain completely for free. Out of all of these huge pets that you can find inside of the index, only 13 of them are obtainable completely free to play. And there is really no way to cheat them other than obtaining them as best of your abilities. Well, actually, you kind of can. That's why in this video, I wanted to go across literally every single one of these pets and tell you how to obtain them the easiest method. And we're going to go from the most rarest ones all the way to the easiest ones to get. And the rarest of the rarest one, as most of you probably know, is actually the huge angel dog. There is an achievement in the game. If you scroll down, it says, is it real? Which is just a triple question mark quest that gives you a huge angel dog as you can see only two of these have ever existed up to now and uh don't ask me why but i actually own one of them yeah it's somewhere on my team yeah it's right back there i kind of traded a lot for it i gave over three titanics and right now apparently it's worth five to seven but i haven't really looked at any offers anyway the only way to get this item was from stairway to heaven the way you can only access this right now is no longer through the VIP area, but if you go to actually the classic obby right over here, and you just start up a die and go home, this will take you all the way down into the stairway to heaven. There is a very low chance that this thing spawns for you. The more you climb, there will be a chance that you can actually get a pathway that will allow you to claim this pay keep in mind this pathway is very rare to get the chances for it are always changing so i can't tell you what it is and i don't want to be completely wrong but it's basically gonna just talk to you the whole time as you go up and yeah i'm just gonna say this one is probably the hardest one to get hence why there's only two of them in the game and nobody knows exactly how to get it and no new ones have been hatched for around two weeks now so if this is something you really want you might want to take that off of the list but on to the next pet the next rarest pet is the huge poseidon corgi the way you obtain this is pretty simple currently it can only be obtained from all the way i believe it is the atlantis mode Oh, wait, no, this is the wrong spot. Never mind. Right now, it is only obtained by fishing, which can be done inside of Area 27, the Pirate Tavern. And as you can see, there is a sign that says Chance for Huge Poseidon Corgi. And whenever you go inside of here, you will see that there is a brand new fishing rod, which you can buy better rods. And the best rod in the game right now that you can simply buy is the Pro Fishing Rod. That's if if you include or exclude the golden fishing rod the golden fishing rod can only be obtained from i believe trading and like pulling it but whenever you fish in this mode the point is to actually click as soon as your fish goes down and you need to just get your percentage all the way up to a hundred percent to receive a reward in which i just got a book this one is the hardest or the second hardest thing to get because it requires you to actively be looking at your screen it is not so easy to actually try to get yourself and you will most likely need some help doing it by the way no luck potions or anything help you in that mode also talking about an item like the fishing rod they can be obtained from modes such as the obbies i don't think the Atlantis one actually offers it but you can look through some other ones such as I believe the jungle lobby which do offer it but you can't get things such as the shovel which I have to talk about in the next pet the third rarest pet to get is the huge fossil dragon right here with currently 21 in existence this pet is found from the dig site which is literally area 30 called the dig site 
And for this mode, you're going to need the best shovel you can get, bro, because you're going to spend a lot of time digging. And you can't buy the best shovel through here or, of course, getting the golden shovel. But the way you actually obtain this is not from digging normal stuff, but getting chests that can be found all the way down here. The further you go down, there will be better chests, and the better chests that you break, the higher the chances of the huge fossil dragon. But the further you get down, it does actually get a lot harder to start breaking stuff. So be a little bit prepared for that. You're going to need a good shovel. And there is a chest just like so. I just got some rewards from it. And you can find more in these areas. And I highly recommend staying in this like gray area. Because there will be a lot of chests here that you can just run around and break before going further down. Don't worry. After a period of time, the mine does reset and you can grind back some more chests. And that brings us on to the next pet, the huge berserker. This one is a little bit self-explanatory. It doesn't actually take too much skill and it's more based off of your luck because if you look at it, it says found occasionally in the act of huge pets. At the time I'm recording, only 34 exist. This is the rarest pet that you can get from the huge chances. This board right here resets every day or so, bringing new huge pets onto it. And this is one of the many that you can get, and it can be obtained from the best egg in the game. And you must also actually have Rebirth 2, because if you do not, you cannot buy it. For this one, the best method that you can really do is by enabling your luck potions. And in terms of what enchants you can equip, I highly recommend just using luck like this. And if you have the extra slot now that they released it, it is going to help you out a lot. But you can do that as well as place on a shiny hunter so you can get better pets just as shinies. And um, I mean, for the last pet, you might as well just throw another lucky on but this is the team that i would use to grind and then the only other way to get up your luck is through the potion also you can use the huge hunter book that you get from the achievements but i did accidentally trade mine away but as you can see i actually have no idea where it is oh yeah right here if you open 750,000 eggs they give you a huge hunter book for free you can also easily find them in the trading plaza and as well as if you can't afford it the huge hunter game pass is gonna help you a lot because if you look down here it increases my odds by 25 500 percent that is over 25 times and the next easiest pet that you can get is the huge fire horde this one is actually a very easy one to get as well it's a very fun to do because it takes place inside of the lava forest and there we go right here as you can see there is a chest rush mode in which if you break all the way to the end you can get the huge fire for horse in its normal form rainbow as well as gold there is also some amazing rewards you can get from this mode, bro. If you guys see the last page, or well, actually, wait, what? They nerfed it like crazy. But you can get a bunch of presents as well as a charm stone now, I guess, from this mode, making it very good to grind. It's also very easy to grind, especially if you're in the last area, because if I just click, it one-shots all of the chests. And all you do is basically click and run straight, bro, because that's all you have to do. And yeah, as you guys can see, all I'm doing is just clicking once and I broke through every single one of them. And right here is where all the magic happens. Because as you can see right here, you can get all of these pets from grinding in this little area. And right now, actually only one rainbow huge fire horse exists. So it's a little bit rare to get that, but all you have to do is just sit in this area and grind away for the next three minutes that you have left. After this, it will kick you out. And there is a two hour countdown to when you can actually do it again. Also, why in the world is it auto equipping my ice snowman? Look, I don't even have auto equip on and it's just there. What are you doing, bro? The next pet is the huge crocodile. 
And for this one, I really don't have to go into detail because it's something I've already talked over. But this one's also obtained from the uh, huge, I guess, like active huge thing. Currently, it is not actually there, similar to the Berserker, but they will eventually cycle on. The next pet is the huge wizard Westy. This one's also pretty easy to get from what I've heard because it's obtained from the crystal chest right here. Over 1.2 thousand of these currently exist. And let's go ahead and try summoning for it real quick. Let's see, can we get it? And yeah, probably not going to be able to get it super easily, bro. But this is the only way that you can get it. It is a pretty easy method that you kind of just do whenever, like, you just have keys. But overall, it's definitely worth it. The next easiest huge pet to get, which we are almost actually close, is the huge mermaid cat. It is currently up as an active huge and that I think is the second easiest one to get if not the easiest and the two huges that are the easiest after that are the huge red panda and the huge giraffe which are all on there. So yeah I mean that one is kind of just testing your luck to see if you can get it. I personally managed to hatch one, which was the red panda. This is the second easiest one to get from what I know at the moment. But overall, they are all very hard to get. And if you don't have the active huge game pass, uh, it's going to be really hard to get. But if you are looking for pets like these, they are actually moderately cheap to buy in the plaza. If I currently go to the trading plaza and try to look for one of these pets, you guys will see it is pretty cheap. Okay, here we are inside of the plaza, and let's see if we can even find this. Okay, I don't think there's literally anybody selling anything in this plaza. Oh, wait, look, there is the huge hunter book selling for 2.2 million in the trading plazas. So this book is a pretty cheap item to actually buy. And it is worth it, especially if you don't have the huge uh, Hunter Game Pass. It's going to boost your chances quite a lot. But currently right now, if I look at the wrap on this thing, I mean, yeah, you can see it goes for 6 to 7 million. Which is pretty low if you actually look at a pet for its exist count. I mean, if I find another pet in my inventory that has only 1,000 exists, it's going to be way more. The huge snowman has 8,000 in existence, but it already goes for 4 million. I mean, here's an example. The huge capybara has 4,000 existence, and it has basically the same wrap. So I do highly recommend buying them and quickly flipping them, but you have to make sure that the people you trade aren't people that use rap because rap is very inaccurate you can also find literally every other pet that i have mentioned in here most of these pets are sometimes placed at a very cra crazy price but i think the huge red panda is a good one however if you do get it you might want to sell it fast because they're always getting hatched and wait santa is coming bro there is literally no santa to be found anyways let's head on to the next pet this pet is overall the second easiest pet to get and you will kind of be shocked on why it actually it is the way it is right here the next pet is the huge propeller cat which you can get from the spinny wheel now if i open it you will see there is no huge pet in here that's because you have to actually spin and then there is a chance that you get the pet to spawn in here in which I have terrible luck on getting it to do so. But let's go ahead and try spinning again. Come on, bro. Where is it? I mean, you have to just keep spinning. And there it is. The huge propeller cat. As you can see, it is a 0.1% chance of getting. But the best part is that you can get this in rainbow and golden too, I believe. Yup, you can get it in golden as 900 exists. As well as rainbow, which 170 exists of. And they all exist in the chance of 0.1%, except it's just harder for it to pop up as rainbow. But all of the chances are always 0.1% for this huge pet. So it's a pretty cool thing to test your luck on, especially if you have a lot of tickets. And oh my god, bro, we almost had it. Well, you get my point. And the easiest pet of all is the huge Jolly Narwhal. You are probably wondering, how is this pet the easiest? Well, for one, it is by far the most exist count of a free huge pet you can get. 
If you go to the index and search up Jolly Narwhal, you will see that there, uh, well, that is actually for the rainbow, but if you search up the normal, there's 18,000. When I checked this pet around three hours ago, it was only 17,000. And right now it is only obtainable from the Titanic Christmas present. But the chances are so high for this pet. As you guys can see in my video from yesterday, I actually only opened six eggs and I got two of them. So it's a pretty easy pet to get. And I mean, I guess since I only have one Titanic Christmas present on this account, let's go try opening it, see what I get. But I mean, I don't know how good it's going to be. Let's see, can I get anything good? Okay, yeah, I can't. They are always tweaking with the chances though, so it could become harder later on. But for now, this is by far such an easy huge pet to get. So in the meantime that the game is adding this um, Christmas event, you guys should definitely go for this present pet. Or this Jolly Narwhal. And you can also actually now get it from the Santa Paws, which seems to be a common way to get too. It's definitely helped in getting it by a lot. So make sure you use that to your advantage as well. And there is more free-to-play huge pets that you can get. But I haven't really included these on the list. But as you guys know, the Hugetron is still here. I don't know why people don't use this, but it still exists in the game, bro. I mean, it's right here. And yeah, you can make these eggs, which are have a guaranteed huge pet. Actually, right now, they are very cheap to get in the plaza. 2.3 to 2.5 million. The easiest pet inside of the egg right now, the huge goblin, literally goes for more than the egg cost. So maybe it might be a better way to get these. I mean, after all, there is a chance that you can hatch a huge kraken, which if I also look at the index, you will find out that the huge kraken chances, yeah, only 1,000 exist, so it probably has a lot of value. But yeah, if this video helped you guys out, watch the video on the screen. It's one of my best videos yet. And until then, I will catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.